welcome back welcome back you're watching tune to zamgazin talk show and we have mabel in the house <laughs> as usual i need to have aka something i'm still working on my nickname you know mm-hmm. but i like i'll, I'll give you one please i'm listening <laughs> yeah no off off, off, <laughs> off, off the set yeah <laughs> of <Okay>. the record <laughs> so <laughs> today if you're just yeah. joining us mm-hmm. now we're talking about five plus two reasons why yeah. degree holders are poorer. And before we went for the break, we highlighted that sometimes they do not think beyond their certificate. They prioritize their certificates and they also do not think outside the, outside box. the box. The thinking is, um, is limited. Yeah. And Mwakumbu gave out a few pointers how we can overcome that and just thrive. So now we're going to get into how because of the papers they have because of the degrees degree holders tend to look down on their gifts and talents they don't pay attention to their gifts and talents is it true <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> interesting uh, you know this is where now when somebody asks you say what's what's your talent mm. yeah so for me um even before going into university and what i i played football okay yeah i, I even want for trials under power dynamos in Kitwe. Okay. But you know it's where our parents yeah. tend to tend to tell us to say no, you need to concentrate on school, you need sure. to do this kind of thing. So for me it was worse. Mom even ended up coming to school to tell my sports teacher that if they wanted me to, to be moved from that school, wow. I should be allowed I, I should continue playing for the school team. But instead, well, they prioritized that maybe I can do debate and quiz oh, for the yeah. uni- for the school. So I was allowed to stop playing football for the team and all that. And even now, when you come into university, mm-hmm. you've been fed with this kind of mentality to say, mm-hmm. don't do this. Even if you are good at, at this particular uh, sport, talent, you can't do that. Maybe because the university will not give you that time yeah. to do your talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you understand that it's less time to develop or work on your talent if you are in into university thus um, you understand that it becomes a challenge to even work apart from school like mm. academics if i'm doing media or i'm doing social work let me do social work and yeah. maybe instead not play guitar mm-hmm. maybe not do drama and, and all that so it's about how we tend to concentrate because you know when you're into university or college you know mm-hmm. parents are like should you fail mm-hmm. <laughs> you know this kind of emphasis is yes. what's uh, what tends to even like bar students or graduates to fail to like explore and even go beyond what it is that they went for uh, at, at that particular institution and mm-hmm. all that so you understand that by the time you are coming out of university and try to focus Mm -hmm. on that talent or develop that it probably could be too late for me for example if i'm saying okay should i go back and start (laughs) playing football (laughs) and and, and all that so you find that for some that do not persist yeah Yeah, the zero is no longer there and for those that do not persist and want to just push further even Mm. with school stress you just fail to push that you understand that the zeal goes mm-hmm. and you tend now to focus on other things now that i'm out of school yeah. what's my focus <laughs> if i'm going to play football back mm-hmm. how long will it take me to penetrate into the first team how long yeah. will i get uh, some money mm-hmm. or maybe i should just focus on this what i was trained to do into university so you understand that all these things play a bigger role as to why uh, graduates mm. fail to even think beyond their paper and just explore on the on the talent but i think uh, even while i've emphasized much on this i should mention that i think we are slowly moving away from from that yes. because most of us we have realized that um, there's so much competition there True. Um, and this competition for example mm-hmm. I'll, I'll constantly give example about the media mm-hmm. you understand that very few but i don't know if Mabel did media studies that no, she's, I didn't. you see so Mabel, Mabel <laughs> didn't do media studies <laughs> i'm putting it out there okay. to be honest i didn't i just uh, yeah. got lucky and my passion you no know. it's not lucky it's mm-hmm. your passion and mm-hmm. your talent you are, you are doing pretty much far much better than those that maybe i sat with thank you in class who did media studies yeah. in terms of hosting a show so you understand that 
you know there's that competition mm -hmm. out there about talent and just improving your skill so now a lot of people have started struggling to balance the program that one is doing yeah. and also just developing that talent because you don't know where you are going to get it mm -hmm. is it mm -hmm. me i wasn't so much into graphics designing but the job that i have today tends to do more with graphics designing so i now have to work balancing on my program and graphics designing so it's all about that competition that now a lot of us now are trying to balance if you're in school and this is where now that we are graduates i'm yeah. telling those that are in school or those that yeah. have got siblings that are in school mm -hmm. to say you know even while you are in school you need to ensure that try to balance yeah. try to balance mm -hmm. your study and developing that uh, that skill because you don't know where you are, might find your greener pasture so it's all about that let's think outside the box let's just play along develop the talent as well as do your program mm -hmm. well i feel You've said almost half of everything <laughs> but I'll, I'll take you back to yeah. the point you highlighted to say mm -hmm. you know parents their emphasis sometimes can almost like shatter your dreams it did from actually it did with me it did eh? mm -hmm. wow he's being honest right now <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm being honest i know mom is i know mom is watching so mom i'm, I'm telling you about how you shatter my dream oh of my playing. goodness it's, it's just an innocent question on my part <laughs> i just want some clarity but do you yeah. think parents emphasis sometimes when it comes to our, um, education Mm -hmm. and how much they want us to succeed um like you've said in your case it mm -hmm. actually really did shatter your dream you wanted yeah. to become you know a, a soccer player a soccer player by mm -hmm. now you would have been the next pat on that i feel like continued in that channel yeah, which yeah. you wanted to so badly to do but yeah. what should be the balance you know when you know you you've lived that you've experienced that you've mm -hmm. seen the emphasis which parents can actually place on your life yeah. so what should be the balance when it coming when it comes to actually are guiding your child in terms of building up a career and also you know talent development what should be that little balance there when it comes to you know parenting and coaching a child well um i think right now mm -hmm. the, from the your hand, experience from my experience yes. i think there are a lot of examples mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm saying if i were to go back mm -hmm. five eight years down the line mm -hmm. i'll be able to tell mom to say look at kapembo msonda yeah. kapembo msonda is um is with um beautiful now yeah. he finished his his degree with the university mm -hmm. he, he managed to complete school while even playing professional football mm -hmm. so i think there are those examples the the likes of uh, cholwe and uh, who's who's playing football and has finished his uh, his degree program mm -hmm. and and many other people that that you could cite and now we understand even the job how jobs are scarce out there yeah. i'll be able to tell my parents to say look this is what it's there mm -hmm. even if i don't get a job after getting my degree i'll be able to play soccer you know some of the people that follow reggae music will be mm -hmm. able to make reference to lucky dove that lucky dove actually after doing his law degree mm -hmm. actually took there's the story that he took that certificate to the parents and told them so okay you wanted me to do my, this so much mm -hmm. now that i've done it here is the paper i'm going my musical career wow. so there are all the there are all these examples are yeah. that are out there that i'll be able to stand up and mm -hmm. and, and just what and just maybe give my parents and show them say look i can actually do this while there's this because of the following people that i'm citing but even as someone is doing this they should be that emphasis not to disappoint your parents mm, yeah. because sometimes our parents tend to say all this because maybe they know our weaknesses mm -hmm. yeah like my weakness was that i could come from school uh, in in basic school grade eight grade nine from school without going home to change my uniform and what off i go to the pitch <laughs> wow. to play football and obviously uh, they saw that okay this guy is is going to be distracted and mm -hmm. might fail but if you are going to balance your talent your skills and school go all out there tell your parents cite all those examples that that have given among others even those that are very practical around yeah. you you yeah. just tell them say look i can actually do this mm -hmm. with school just like that person did just but otherwise if you are going to say <laughs> okay i want to do this yes well they don't want to be disappointed you know that's they are spending true, true. so much money that's on, on us and, and everyone so 
yeah and, and parents sometimes just really want the best for us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and what the times they grew up in and the times of growing up in a yeah it's different yeah. yeah and the other thing is your talents your gifts and all these things when you develop them mm-hmm. with how you said there's competition out there, yeah, there is putting so them much. together with your degree your diploma you could actually bring something unique to the table yeah so i think the other thing that we just also put out there is that don't look down on your talents whether you have a paper or not because you yeah. never know where you might have to apply mm-hmm. it that's true because i mean that football <laughs> that football <laughs> yeah. experience that mm-hmm. you had you yeah. probably still watch football and this might come in handy and i mean you're in media you never yeah. know maybe you might be chairing uh, a sports show yeah, you see, you so see. our talents i mean your talents your gifts they're mm-hmm. very very important mm-hmm. and there's a reason that god put them in you you yeah. never know where that would take you that's very true and so it yeah. brings me to my other question which yeah. is you know um i understand there's so much going on you know mm-hmm. there's there's a lot of entertainment yeah f- from everywhere in zambia come to s- let's not say much about zambia it's so obvious <laughs> every <laughs> day <laughs> yeah. every day we wake up to a yes. new episode mm. i get it you know i feel to some extent we take so much time to know what's happening in the world mm-hmm. than actually taking the time to understand ourselves understand our strength yeah. what we are good at the talents uh, and it's another win another thing which i can almost say as a distraction yeah. because you're so focused on what is out there yes. and forgetting about ourselves and what we can do as people and th- what we can actually produce which is very beneficial to us yeah. so what's what's your take how do you think this whole thing is affecting is has affected you is affected all of us out here mm. well ish, um but let me let me use you know like me and my phone are inseparable eh? yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, trust me. <laughs> yeah but no, uh, speak for yourself <laughs> yeah but, but for me but for me and me and my phone are inseparable eh? mm-hmm. you know i don't even know if i i, I were to go an hour without without a phone mm. i don't know how i would feel because yeah. um deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm always online, and that's why I use a certain brand of a phone mm-hmm. because you know it would be like marketing for them if we mention yes, the name. Yes. But I use a certain brand of a phone yeah. that will enable me to go on and on, just uh, to stay online and everything. And and you know this is why I'm also doing my side also. You know, yeah. I'm after graduating. You don't have like a real job. I'm managing uh, Facebook pages, Twitter accounts for mm-hmm. people and everything. So going online for an hour. You would have missed a whole lot of things <laughs> but you know i saw that while i was in university i had now to just download a certain app mm-hmm. that should just limit me to access any application that requires internet usage because i knew to say okay even if i say okay let me switch off my phone maybe i might be needed at the radio station i might mm-hmm. be needed at the at the pitch because then i was the secretary general for the sports council in university mm-hmm. so there was all this distraction that mm-hmm. came along but immediately i went into the library i had to make sure that i put that up so that i do not access facebook i do not access twitter i do not access instagram and and whatsapp so that's how i managed to study so i understand that there are a lot more other people that are in school out mm-hmm. there and you are experiencing this challenge that i had of just being a social media addict mm-hmm. you know you can actually get uh, applications that could limit your access to these social applications mm-hmm. that even as you go on to study you dedicate mm-hmm. an hour to study even if you say okay let me get my phone if you try to go to your to your application you've locked it for an hour or for two hours it will enable you say, oh, okay i said i'm locking my phone so that i study mm-hmm. okay so if you put all those little little uh things in place you are going to ensure that you are going to study but i'll tell you what social media is actually a, a real distraction mm-hmm. to most of us and a lot more people out there and if you do not create this balance it can actually distract you and you may even end up failing to concentrate on your goal that's true and i feel most people don't realize that it's actually a barrier they just mm-hmm. see it as 
an entertainment, you know, platform where they can yeah. just post, comment, share, mm -hmm. you know, just be entertained. <laughs> you know, you, when <laughs> you look at how sense. people are posting mm -hmm. on their statuses, mm -hmm. you'd think a thread yeah. is one, but there are a whole lot. A thousand. Yeah. You know, of, of photos there. Mm -hmm. No, that's very true. And, and I think also what he's saying about the distraction mm -hmm. and all that, like what she asked, like most people, mm -hmm. when you're in school, you tend to concentrate more on you want to know what's in the book and yeah. you forget about yourself yeah you forget about who you are i mean we're growing the the way we were two three years ago is <laughs> not the same yeah, yeah it's, all it's not the same yeah. and sometimes i mm -hmm. think like social media aside just books and mm -hmm. school wise people get buried in becoming a doctor and forget about becoming who they really are yeah so it's like what do you like? Ah, anything. <laughs> what kind of books do you like? <laughs> no, that's true. Anything. What that's drink? You, even just a drink. Maybe yeah. I mean, we go somewhere. We want to? What are you eating? Anything. Oh, <laughs> what whatever you order for me. Yeah, any, any, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know what What's you like. Like, yeah. like and people forget to also like live outside the books. Just like my, uh, back at school would call Book them jobbies. <laughs> uh, jobbies. Yeah, jobbies. Just the live, the live, the live, the live. You've even failed to have others because there's life other than yeah. academics. And actually, mm -hmm. it is that which um, actually contributes to most of the graduates, the best graduating graduates, fail maybe even to find a job or just find what to do mm -hmm. because most of the times you spent your time studying you buried yourself in two books and and you did all this and you failed to make this social connection yeah. with other yeah. people True. you you see this social connection with people in universities or learning institutions are the ones that tend to come and be of help mm -hmm. once you're out there because today if i were friends with tisa in university when i know that there is someone who's doing this design traditional design i'll be able to think of tisa because she was a friend in yeah. school and i'll be able to call her to say mm -hmm. tisa look there is an opportunity here or maybe there is this yeah. let's let's do this you see so that act in its actual sense of wanting to bury yourself into the books mm -hmm. has contributed more to some of the graduates not getting to have that social connection mm -hmm. with other people that they can even explore True. okay and this is where the disparities and i know this is very debatable that most of the um, natural scientists mm -hmm. and social scientists have got this difference in how they succeed in life i'll give an example of a medical doctor mm -hmm. a medical doctor and someone who just did a degree maybe in social work would live a whole different kind of lifestyle and maybe someone who just has a degree in social work for example would be able to succeed in life as compared to someone who did uh, medicine because theirs is just them and the patients but this person who did this program that enables them to interact with the people they are going to be able to know okay there's someone who's selling land this side there's someone who's doing all this because there's this social connection amongst themselves and the and the other people mm -hmm. so don't just bury yourself in the box That's get true. to know other people tend to socialize and develop the talent that which, which we much uh, emphasized on that's mm -hmm. true i can relate there's someone who is close to me mm -hmm. um I won't mention names, obviously. <laughs> she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not okay. late. Yes. I, I I just feel you know she's got so much potential. Yeah, yeah. she's a student. Uh, she, this is someone who's well spoken. Mm -hmm. You can tell she's got so much potential in her. But the only thing she does is just be indoors, school, her laptop mm -hmm, assignment. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, we're talking about social connections. You know, social relationship. Yeah. And it, it's not like you just have to be, you know, with the social. You know, uh, rather have a social relationship with people yeah. in the university or anything. Even mm -hmm. those around, it really mm -hmm. helps. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. be out there, expose yourself, meet yeah. people. You mm -hmm. know, make new friends. Just be out there. Yeah. So I feel bad because she's always indoors. I mean, she's got light skin. She's even lighter now. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. It's, it's good. You know, you want to get that distinction. Yeah. You mm -hmm. want to get that merit at the end of the day. But you also need. To see who's going to help you sure. yeah. if you get this distinction now, yes. and it mm -hmm. starts in in, in university mm -hmm. and you you know you understand that um like i was discussing earlier mm -hmm. that look 
if you are well spoken yeah. maybe you graduate with your distinction or a merit mm -hmm. and then you find that this person who has probably graduated with a credit mm -hmm. i'll not talk about the silent because i'll not be encouraging people to study out there but this person who has graduated with a uh, with a credit will be able to probably even find a job sure. even before this particular person who, who graduated with a distinction why because people are looking at what other extracurricular do activities you did yeah. you do while mm -hmm. you were pursuing this uh, this program so it's all these little things that matter at the at the end of the day so we need to go all out there mm -hmm. concentrate have focus but yet we need to interact and socialize that's, that's very true. nice yeah mm -hmm. Go and out also, there, concentrate. Just before yeah. we move on to your next one, mm -hmm. what you said, uh, the extracurricular activities. Yeah. When you get to know yourself, you get to know what else you can add on to the things True. that you already True. have. Mm -hmm. Mabel mentioned she didn't do media stuff. <laughs> yeah, but, but look at her. Her passion. Look at her and <laughs> she knows, <laughs> like, okay, I, I like, yeah, I like I to like present, I, I like to yeah. talk to people. Yeah. And wait, since I like to do this, I can do this. Let me try it out. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. self-awareness enables it's you to yeah. try out different things and to put yourself out there. You won't be like, yeah. eh, I can't. Eh, mm -hmm. Can I? You, you, and that's the barrier, the yes, first barrier to Yes, yeah. so you, You'll be able to know your strengths and your weaknesses and what to work on so that you put yourself out there. Yeah. True. Then I think it's even more, it's more than your degree because it's who you are. It's, yeah. It, yeah. it sets you apart, really. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. Wow, so... You've heard it from our gentleman here. <laughs> Go out there, be social, yeah. make friends, make sure you have the right connections. You know, don't be in those. Mm -hmm. Develop your talents, know what you're good at. Don't just, you know, be on the other side of the wall and think life will catch up with you. It won't. You actually <laughs> be you left behind. <laughs> but all of us are actually doing what we can do. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. for now, we go on a break. We'll see you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.